Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on vectoring in Illustrator. Anyone watching this video who is not familiar with the term vector, I'll um, explain it very quickly. A vector is a type of digital graphic that is scalable and it can be scaled to any size without losing quality whatsoever. As you can see I have a couple of characters on the screen right now. They are roughly 700 pixels wide and about 460 pixels tall. And as you can see, as I zoom in to the fullest amount, all of my lines are smooth. There's no jagged edges, no pixelation, nothing. Now, let's say I wanted to make these much larger. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to come up to Object, click or hover over Transform, and then choose the Scale tool. Scale tool allows me to resize scenes without losing any of their proportions. So if I wanted to make this, let's say, a thousand times larger, just type in a, th a thousand, click in, a, in another box since I had the preview option clicked, and you can see they change size, and I have retained the same amount of quality throughout. Now I'm just going to undo that so they're back to their original size. And then I'm going to show, and they not only scale upwards, they also scale downwards. So again, I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm going to scale them, except this time I'm going to go to 10% of their current size. They get very tiny very fast. So let's just zoom in. And now I've lost them. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. And at the maximum resolution or zoom that I can pull up, again, no pixels, no jagged edges. Vectors are a fantastic invention and they open up a wide range of possibilities. For example, I could take the, uh, the image I have on the screen, add in a background, and export it at whatever size without quality loss that I choose and have it sitting on a billboard if I want it. Um, now the first concept that I'm going to go over with you besides uh, what a vector is, is the layers panel. If you'll pardon me, I just have to keep this at a certain amount of time. Now the layers panel is found right here. And what a layer is, is a way of separating different parts of an image. As a quick example, let's take a look at this character's tail. As you can see, the little blue line that runs along the out, the outline actually goes in behind her um, back here. That is because I have them on two separate layers. And I, th ah, there we go. Sorry, my computer's lagging just a little bit. As you can see, this entire section here is layered below the back and leg, which is here. That's because they're on two different layers. If I were to take and hide this, you can see how the tail actually moves through the back, uh, the back right there. That's because layers allow you to put things uh, behind other objects so that you can hide what you don't want another or uh, anyone who's viewing it to see or something that just fits out of place. It also allows you to a uh, margin of error as it were. For example if I were to take a digital painting and I needed to color in uh, right around or I needed to color in all the bright red in between these outlines. The layers panel allows me a margin of error in that I can create the outlines and then below that layer paint under all of the outlines so I don't have to get it pixel perfect. Um, this is something that you would commonly find in programs like Illustrator or Paint Tool Sci or perhaps even GIMP. Um, to create layers is actually a very simple thing. I'm just going to close these both out. To 
create a new layer, all you have to do is click this little button down in the Layers panel. And now I have something else I can draw on. I'm just going to put this to the top. Zoom out a little bit. And we're going to create a circle, which I can get right here. I'm just going to double click on the screen. It allows me to put in a value. And let's say 6,000 by 6,000 so we can see everything quite readily. Let's change the color of that so it's not quite so eye blistering, shall we? As you can see, it's qu quite a large circle. So, if I just wanted to uh, put the circle in below or between my two characters, all I have to do is drag it up and down on the bar. Or I can put it in with other layers. So I can hide every part of her, but her ear, perhaps a little bit of her face. Let's go all the way down to. Hmm. that. Oh god, I've cut her in half. What have I done? But that is how a layer works. It's a very simple concept with amazing uses throughout all of digital artwork. Now then, that is how layers work. There's also an interesting little feature about setting the visibility. For example, if I just wanted to have, say, Snowdrop over here visible, all I have to do is come over to my Layers panel, to the main layer that has everything that has to do with the character Wildfire on the left, and click the little eyewall right there. And now Wildfire is invisible. Set it back to visible. Now let's say I just wanted to play around with, mm, let's say her little mark right here. If I didn't want the wing there, so I could mess around with it without actually deleting the wing, all I have to do is turn it off. Simple as that. Let's go up to hmm, her mane, which is layered right here. Let's say I needed to work on her eyelashes a little bit, which is kind of difficult with all the layers uh, visible right now. So I just turn off her mane and I now I have a bubble pony, but I can actually operate with the individual parts of her face without having her mane in the way and without deleting it whatsoever. But let's say I wanted to work with just her mouth right here, and unfortunately I keep running into an issue where whenever I'm trying to click on something I try I highlight this bit which is actually if you look over here the fill of the head it's all the color portions that I uh, needed to have uh, that I needed hidden behind the other parts of the mouth, uh, the face well if I don't want to click on I don't want to have this highlighted and accidentally move it or something like that all I have to do is come over to this and click in that little square and now I have a lock. The lock makes it so I can't click on that. I can't edit it, I can't change it, does not matter what I do. I, I can move it up and down but that's it. And not only can I toggle lock on that, I can also toggle the lock on this. So now nothing within this layer can be created or changed whatsoever. Now, a nice little feature of Illustrator is that I can create sublayers as well. A sublayer is just creating a layer within a layer. By clicking this little button right here, it puts a layer in here. This way, rather than having to create a layer above this and having to click it and drag it wherever I want, I just have to click where I want the sub the group that I want the sublayer in and then just click create new sublayer just going to go back and delete all of these. Well, okay, I have to highlight all of them before I can do that. Close. Okay, command. Well, holding on command allows you to select multiple objects in the layers panel. Now then, 
An important feature to remember if you're taking a uh, picture such as this and copying it over to something like this background right here is the paste remembers layers option. What this does, it allows Illustrator to keep all the organization that you have within each of these uh, sub within each of these main layers. For example, as you can see, I have everything very carefully organized, such as the necklace, the eyes, the front leg, the horn, the scarf, all of that, very carefully organized so that I can quickly find it in case there's an edit needed. So I want to take and copy Snowdrop here over to my background. So what I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to click copy. I'm going to click on this layer because that's where I want to put Snowdrop. I'm going to come back to edit and click paste. It created a brand new layer for her. As you can see, I still have all of my layers completely organized. But what if I didn't have that option selected? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclick Paste Remember Layers. And I'm going to make sure to change it over here. to uh, it changed it for me. So again, I'm going to copy, which this time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control if you're on a PC, and C. Control C copies for you, and Control or Command V pastes. Okay, so now it didn't create a layer named So Drops for me. Instead, it created it just put it into the topmost layer, and as you can see, nothing is organized. Here, in fact, is her earring. Originally, all of this was very well planned out. In fact, with my earlier example of the necklace, the tail, all of that, these were each in their own individual layers, and now they're not there. They're no longer in the layers. So, again, just a very useful feature if you're copying and pasting between files. Now, sometimes you'll do vector artwork, and you'll run into a a problem where Illustrator assigns a color that is very similar to the color that you're currently working with. Um, in order to do something about that, so that you can actually see the lines you're working with, all you have to do is come over to the Layers panel and double click in this area. It brings up a Layers option box where you can change the color of the paths, oh, I'm sorry, the strokes. So now I have burgundy, Perhaps I want an orange. Oh, that goes a little bit too close to the color that I currently have. Let's go with green. And now, whenever I click on it, I have that color. Contrasts very nicely with the burnt red, so I can see what I'm manipulating. The layer, if at any point that you accidentally close your layers panel, such as that. All you have to do is come up to the window option up here on the top of your um, of your window in Illustrator. It'll be generally in this area when you're playing around on Windows. I'm currently on a Macintosh. Let's just come down here to click on Window. Let's click the Layers option and it brings it right back. And that is how the layers work in Illustrator. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me, and I will have up another tutorial very soon.